green crane. I think it is actually green coloured rather than a white one in, bathed in green light because it's too regularly green all the way up and down it. Whew. But I can just about see where I'm going so it's not a big issue. Uh, what do I want to do here? That's not exactly straight. When I finish talking, which I suspect I might do shortly, um, I will start to listen to language course going up. I use audible.com.co.uk because I'm obviously use um, well I'm using the British one because I'm in the European Union and also I can you know I it might even be cheaper using the American one but I'm using the British one it's got more it's got a more um, German and Russian stuff on it than the American one and I'm also in the European Union so therefore it's not mucking about with me and putting sales tax on and things like that. Whether it makes a big difference which one you take I don't know but Audible is very good. So if you're in America you probably have to take audible.com. If you're in Britain or in the European Union you might take audible.co.uk for English. There's also audible.de. Not sure it seems to have a lot of pap on it, audible.de, rather than serious literature. Whereas the serious German literature, you can get quite a bit of that anyway on audible.com. You can certainly get it in, on Amazon in book form. Now on amazon.co.uk, you can get almost any German literature. I got uh, um or Faber by Max Frisch the other day in German and in English. Not the same book, not in the same cover. It's two separate books and the two separate covers um, in order to do that thing where you know that exercise of mine where you read the you read the target language in my case German in this case and um, you read a paragraph or two depending on whatever makes you feel comfortable when you get to the point where you feel as though you're losing it you then pick the translation up read the translation and then make sure that everything that came over in the trans comes over to you in the translation is the same as what you understood anyway from the original. So it should be almost like an experience where you feel as though you, you're just you're repeating it because you understood everything anyway. There's nothing in there that you didn't pick up the first time. If there is, or if you knowingly didn't know a word, uh, then that's what you, you zoom, zoom into that and you look, you compare, saying, "Ah, that means that does it. I took it differently." Yeah, and that's how you. And then, you, if you're not sure that the translation's been careful enough, you can you can then, if you want to, you can check it out to a dictionary, or you can simply make a note of it. Um, and then, when you've got things there, to you know, you do this maybe with a pencil in your hand or a highlighter if you want to mark the book permanently, um, and you just underline or put a little a little G for gold list next to what you've um, what you've learned effectively and then you then you go through picking up the things that you've marked you might want to just gloss them there with what was in the translation or what you found from the dictionary if you referred back to the dictionary in case of doubt the aim is really not to use the dictionary because the dictionaries are boring okay so it's, uh, translation is more interesting to read uh, do, do it that way and quicker than to be looking stuff up in the dictionary, even with Google Online being quite fast, it's not as fast as using a translation hand in hand. So you just then refer to your pencil notes, which you probably make in the German original, and just gloss them with the English translations where you didn't know them. And then you transfer them to your head list and learn them the normal way in gold list. That's that's a I haven't got a particular name for it, I might call it Literature Gold List Drill or Literature Drill in Gold List or whatever. But uh, whether I really like calling it a drill is another matter because it's, it's not really drilling, it's just uh, another way of reading, another way of studying. And it should be pleasant, of course, like gold listing ought to be pleasant for those who do it. So, oh, we came to that one before Capitoli, which is, contains, of course, the the uh, Ashan near my house. 
this number 19 is uh, tram that doesn't go by my flat but on the other side there'll be a number 15 or a 13 and I think they do on the other side of the road which is a bit blocked anyway so whether I'd really even if I gave up and went to the tram which I have no intention of doing because it's too early um, instead of which when I get done having our, our little chat I'll put those headphones on that I've got in my pocket and I can pick what I've got on at the moment. I've got a number of things on at my Audible. Um, one of them is, well, it's basically to help me be a better parent, parenting book. So I've probably screwed up my parenting completely. Um, I'm going to talk about that on another day. It's a bit complex to talk about now. Um, and... Uh, Another one is, um, well, I've got a number of Pimslers on the go in there. Um, I've got a number of pieces of literature on the go in there. I've got some history books on the go in there. And I've got the Holy Bible on the go in there. So, um, basically, there's a wealth of stuff. And it, but you have to be aware that Audible is a subscription service. So if you, you're not buying a book forever an audiobook forever. You're buying an audiobook and access to, to put in your library, plus access for your library, your being in inverted commas, for a certain period of time to go with it. And then you expect to buy more and develop your library of audiobooks, which you can do at different speeds, depending on whether you buy a lot or a little number of books. You can buy one book per month, effectively, or you can buy two, or you can buy more than that. And, and if you do become a member, then you've got offers which you can basically... Well, I mean, there was a, a, an M.R. James. Well, that's uh, an authoress. I think it's a woman. I think it's a detective writer. It's not Mr. James, that's me. Um, if, that's only if you're uh, spam, spam calling me, not if, you, uh, if you're one of my actual viewers. You don't have to call me Mr. James in that case. Um, but, uh, but if you're, if you're some idiot spamming me with the telephone, then, then, then you better call me properly, yeah? Because uh, otherwise I'm going to do that thing that I've done a couple of times and filmed it. So, uh, basically... There's Capitoli, as you see. Coming to the end of the... Uh, what I have to say, aren't I, really? I'm sure I've left a few... I've left a few unended threads out in that conversation, or dialogue, or monologue, I should say, that we've just had. Um, but what can I do about it? There's the place for crossing this to the other side. I'll have to cross it anyway. But it's just gone red. How far have I got with the walk? You may well ask. Well, it's 4.4 after we left the, the, the pancake place. It's now 6.5. You can see that, 6.5, yeah? Oh, green, better, better make the green. Oh, 62, why am I running 60? Got a minute. And then I'll cross here to get to that side. And you can see the... That's a 13, that would have gone by my house, but 6.5 isn't enough. Um, I need to not only get past the 5.5 for today, but uh, get a bit back from the fact I was under a few days. 7.7 is really the minimum that I want to walk today. It's really a, a waste to a waste of such a nice warm evening. Don't know how many there will be before it gets cold again. It's only the beginning of February, so the trick is to use what you can, what you get, what what blessings God sends your way, is to maximise them. That's the trick and be thankful, but being thankful means to take it, yeah? 
in the German language and the Polish for that matter if you say I'm thankful for this it means I don't want it but that's not a way to show thanks to God though um, uh, Lord God thank you for your fine salvation that you've offered me in Jesus Christ but I don't want it I mean uh, it's horrible to even say those words isn't it um, I, that, that obviously I don't feel that way um, um, if you don't take something that God's giving you you can, uh, you can scarcely say that you're grateful one way to be grateful for something is to take it and use it I mean when your mother gives you um, socks for Christmas that you don't like yeah you, try, you, you show some gratitude by saying thank you but she may not actually believe you're grateful unless she sees you wearing this or that and she's bought for you as a present and if she only hears the word thank you or even if she gets a thank you letter but doesn't actually see you re you're actually using it well it's a bit of hollow gratitude isn't it obviously one should say thank you for things I'm not suggesting you should just take something and say <clears throat> like that like a teenager but uh, um, but you should say thank you, of course. But, but it's accepting it and using it, making the most of it. That's how you show gratitude to God, isn't it? By actually saying, yes, you give me a gift, I'm going to use it, I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah, you give me this opportunity today, you give me an opportunity to walk home, because I managed to get out of, um, well, needing to go back to the office. The colleagues said they didn't really need me tonight. Uh, I could work from home catch up with my emails in, at home hopefully there won't be too many um, and uh, and I can take the opportunity to walk and then to, to jump on a to jump on a tram when it's really quite warm and I still haven't needed to do my scarf up and I could of course and then be warmer I could put gloves on and be warmer right what are you gonna do you're gonna just get in my way the whole time yeah woman lady I should say lady rather than woman, and maybe maybe woman's more polite, I don't know what's politically correct. Yeah, nice. That's what you'll see just walking through normal things. It's a nice temple there, or a, a sabor, or whatever, amongst blocks of communist style blocks of flats. You still have them there, these old orthodox things. And once taxi driver going past me, I didn't know what he was from. I thought it was somewhere from the south, but going past it, he started crossing himself so that I knew that he was either a Georgian or, a, or an Armenian. He turned out to be an Armenian. Um, because, obviously, you won't get an Azerbaijani usually cross themselves in front of, uh, in front of that. So, um, although, of course, religion doesn't have to go by race, of course not, but... Uh, Often it does, unfortunately. So, uh, yeah, it would be a, it would be a sin, wouldn't it? Well, maybe is sin too hard a word? It would certainly be ingratitude, which is sinful, to not take up, to lazily get on a bus after only 6.5. Yeah. minus the 2.2 that was in at the very beginning when I was leaving that place where I was with the colleagues makes 4.3 so that's 4.3 kilometers uh, from here it's less than that to get to my flat so I've got more, I've done more than half it already just and you've seen it where I've been talking we've been talking all that time um, and now we've got a little bit more to go can I actually go past it is a, is a zebra thank you um, 